Hey everyone, do you want to get into the FPV hobby, but you don't know which kit to buy, which drone? Well, I'm pretty sure that's the case because I get asked that all the time and these goggles are falling over my eyes. So in this video, I'm going to tell you what FPV kit you want to buy for a beginner that's going to be under $200 US. Here we go. Now, before we get started, I really have to clarify exactly what is an FPV drone because there's a lot of misunderstanding out there. So let me start by this. This iconic design is not an FPV drone. This is considered a camera drone as well as foldable drones, you know, by DJI and Autel and Hopson and Fimi and all that stuff. Those are camera drones. Even the little mini drones, those are camera drones. So these type of drones are all considered camera drones and camera drones are all designed for beginners. Why do I say that? Well, it's because this company here, DJI, a long time ago, was one of the most successful companies at creating a beginner drone kit. In other words, they were one of the first to come out with a kit where you actually got the drone, the battery, the battery charger, and the transmitter and everything you needed all in one box and you could fly it the same day. So since there's a GPS in all of these, the GPS, the altitude hold, all the technology is designed that the drone does all the work for you. And the pilot, the only thing the pilot needs to do is operate the camera. So you can fly this and film operating the camera and let the drone do all the work for the flying and you do all the work for the camera operation. So at one time, not too long ago, camera drones are something that a lot of people would buy. And they bought it for the camera to film the family or go on vacation or just film random things. The problem is the drone didn't allow you to do much. So you're kind of stuck filming kind of boring things and always stuck in the air. You couldn't do anything crazy with that drone except film. And with all the restrictions that have come out in different countries and the way people look at pilots who fly such drones thinking they're very annoying because a lot of drone pilots are annoying. They fly around people and annoy them. So camera drones still pretty popular, but not as as popular. So now let's jump over to the FPV hobby and I'll show you an FPV drone. So FPV drones can be extremely tiny in size because there's not much to them. It's up to the pilot to do all the work. The drone basically is a carbon fiber design so it doesn't break, it has a tiny little pinhole camera in the front, tiny little receiver in it, tiny little flight controller, you know the whole circuit board is right here. So yeah you'd have your own transmitter that you bought yourself, you'd have your own goggles, whichever goggle type you like and your own battery charger, your own battery. So it's in the past, nothing came in a box. And the benefit to FPV drones is basically that as a pilot, you have no restrictions. This is like a bird. It, it will do whatever you want it to do. And they come in different sizes uh, with different cameras. Some cameras are very expensive. You wear whatever cockles you want of dropping everything. You use, use the transmitters that you like, uh, the batteries you like, the battery charger. I mean, since they're not designed for beginners, the the world is your oyster. You can make them go as far as you want. If you want to fly 30 miles, well, you build your quad to go 30 miles. You know, you're going to put a big battery on it to go 30 miles. But the technology is there. You could do anything you want in the FPV hobby. But the problem with the FPV hobby is that it takes a lot of skill. You can't learn it overnight. Not at all. It took me, I would say, to learn the FPV hobby for myself. I'm still learning it today and I've been doing this for years. But to fly an FPV drone for me, because back in the day when I started FPV, we didn't have FPV beginner kits. So back then, it took me a while. It took me over a month to learn how to fly an FPV drone. And I came from the DJI world. So in this video, I'm going to show you three ready to fly beginner kits for FPV. Now I want to warn you in advance, FPV drones are highly advanced. So that means you're paying an awful lot of money for the flight controller, for the camera, for the motors, for the goggles, for the transmitters. It just goes, the prices, uh, the battery charger, the, the batteries. But let me warn you, the FPV hobby, if you want to get into it, the beginner kits I'm going to show you, that just gives you enough skills and knowledge, a little bit of knowledge to get into the FPV hobby. You will not keep flying those beginner kits for life. You will just use them to destroy them, to get your skills up so that you can go buy the real kits. And one thing I have to tell you right now is that the FPV hobby today is way more technically advanced than it ever was. In the olden days, you just basically had analog and you would use analog goggles and life was good. We still have analog today, but we also have many types of digital. So let me see if I could explain this really quick. A long time ago, before I became a professional photographer, I had to buy a camera. In the days 
old, when I bought my first camera, there was only two major camera companies that were great for consumers, and that was Canon and Nikon. I bought Canon, and because I bought Canon, it meant that from that day forward, I would only buy Canon lenses. And if one day I decided I wanted to get a Nikon camera, I'd have no lenses, because the Canon lenses were all designed for Canon. So you have to stay in a field, and it works the same way in FPV. If you get a drone with an analog camera, well, then you're gonna buy goggles that are analog. If you get a drone with a digital camera, then you have to go and get digital goggles, which are very expensive. And there's not just one type of digital, there's three types of digital. So you have to buy whatever goggles in advance when you decide to get in the FPV hobby. And from that point forward, you will stay buying drones that have the same camera system, which are compatible with whatever goggles you own. Hope that makes sense. And the same works for the receiver in the drone. If you get a radio that only works with certain receivers, then all the drones you buy in the future can only have that particular receiver in it to talk to your radio. You see how it works in the FPV hobby? If you think that's confusing, wait until you get into the hobby. But this video is not about that. This video is about getting you, the viewer, who might be flying DJI drones and always looked at the advanced FPV hobby and thought, well, I'd really like to do that, but how do I do it? This video is about getting you into a beginner kit for under $200 US that will not make you an FPV drone flyer. However, it will bring you up to a level where you could jump over and maybe become an FPV drone flyer. I'll explain in this video. Now, all the kits I'm gonna talk about, I have reviewed on this channel, except I don't have all of them because since they're beginner kits, I've given them to people who want to be FPV drone pilots. So I've given them to them and they have used them to become FPV drone pilots. Now the first kit I'm going to show you only costs $79.99 and it's on the MakerFire website and it's called the Armor Bluebee. Now for many of you watching, you probably wouldn't call this a true FPV kit, but the reason it is an FPV kit is because the video signal sent out sends out the video signal on the channels and bands of the FPV hobby, so they call it an FPV kit. So in this kit, you're gonna get the drone, you're gonna get the transmitter. Now for all of you who come from the DJI world, you call this a remote, but in the FPV hobby, it's called a transmitter. You'll get the battery, the battery charger, and a tiny little three inch IPS display that has its own battery in it and can be removed and used with any FPV drone on the market that is analog. So what does that mean? That means you pay $79 you buy this kit then you go to the beta FPV website and you buy yourself some FPV goggles then you take that little IPS display you hand it to your wife or your kids or your friends you fly looking through the goggles they look at your little screen and see exactly the same image that you see the drone does fly on a 1s battery and you get about four and a half minutes of flight time you might not think that's long but in the FPV hobby with a 1s battery that's pretty decent the video signal that comes out of that drone is analog and it shoots out at 25 milliwatts and you're going to learn in the FPV hobby, 25 milliwatts of video output power means you have a transmission distance of one football field. The claim to fame for this drone is not only that little display that you get, which is pretty neat. You can use it with so many other things. It's also that this little drone has three speeds, so you can fly it in the wind or you can fly it indoors. It also, for outdoors, will do flips. Now, the flips it does are not FPV acro flips like in the FPV hobby that you see all the uh, pro pilots doing. No, these are like you press a button and it flips. Now, since it only costs $79.99, as I mentioned, you do not get the FPV goggles, although you can go buy some goggles really cheap. The motors are obviously brushed. You'll never get brushless motors for under $200. They just don't exist when it comes to the FPV hobby in a beginner kit, unless you just get the drone itself. Now, I reviewed this drone quite some time ago and and if you take a look at the comments below the review, everybody who's bought it has given it a thumbs up. They really enjoyed the drone. So that's why I'm recommending it here because you know, for $79.99, you can't go wrong. Now it's not gonna get you into the true FPV hobby, but if you get yourself the goggles, well, then you're getting closer to getting in the FPV hobby. The transmitter has the joysticks in the center. So when you buy something like a DJI drone, a Mavic or anything like that, the joysticks are in the center. Joysticks that are in the center do not exist in the FPV hobby because you can't really control the drone. 
but when a drone is designed for beginners, they leave the joysticks in the center. So I'm gonna give this a score out of five with five being the hardest to fly and one being the easiest. Well, this is a one, your grandma. I say that in so many videos. It is grandma approved. Your grandma could fly this, even grandpa. So just to summarize, it's gonna get you into the FPV hobby to give you a little bit of experience, but you're only gonna get that experience if you go and buy some FPV goggles separately. If you just look at your screen and fly around, it's all right, but it's still not gonna give you the true goggles FPV experience. So it's sort of like a camera drone and an FPV drone stuck together. But for $79.99, it's not bad. Links to that product are below as well as to my review of it. Go check it out. The next kit I have for you that I highly recommend for beginners for under $200 US is this one. This one only costs $119.99 US. As you can see on the box, you do get the FPV goggles, you get the drone and you get the remote. And I will tell you right now, this remote is, as I mentioned, just like the previous remote where the joysticks are in the center. So it's not the true FPV drone hobby. However, they do a cool thing. On the remote, they give you two types of joysticks that you can remove or put on. So in the FPV hobby, we have have people that are called pinchers. I'm doing this backwards, so it's not going to work. They pinch the joysticks like this and they fly because in the FPV hobby, you do not move the joysticks very much. Tiny, tiny movements, not like the camera drones where you're all over the place. And then you have thumbers. I'm a thumber, so I grew up being a thumber, so my thumbs go on the top. There's a huge difference between pinchers and thumbers in the FPV hobby and the tops of the joysticks have to apply to how you fly drones. So in this kit, since they know it's for beginners, they give you both types and uh, yeah, you can put them on the little transmitter and fly around and see which ones you like. The other thing I like about this kit is, I believe I already mentioned this, you'll never get an FPV drone in a kit for under $200 US with brushless motors. They're all gonna have brush motors because they got a good cost to give you everything. So this does have brush motors. However, they give you two extra brush motors just in case you get cat hairs in them and they stop working. You can just pull them out, put the other one in. Very easy to replace. You also get spare props and two batteries. This is what the kit looks like inside. You can go watch my full review. So I could just show you here. So there's your remote. And right now I've got the thumber thingies on it. So there you are. And your buttons are push in, push out. Benefit with this remote is that it's rechargeable. No batteries are required to go inside. That previous kit I showed you for $79, you have to put batteries in it. Goggles, very simplistic. You get the headband, very easy to use. You can use these goggles with any FPV drone in the analog hobby. This remote as well, it works with flight sims, so you can plug it into your computer and you can go play any flight sim and learn how to fly drones even better using this on a flight sim. The drone itself is pretty small and the batteries are 1S, so you get four and a half minutes of flight time on this little thing. And as you can see, there's no antenna coming out of the drone for the camera, so that means you've got about 25 milliwatts of output power, so you're gonna get one football field in range of video signal with this. So once again, this is grandma, grandpa, approved skill level to fly this is way back to level one it is so easy to fly it doesn't have any modes like that first one i showed you by maker fire it's got three speeds but it doesn't have any flight modes this one has two speeds i believe and it doesn't have any flight modes in other words it's just like the previous model altitude hold it flies like a dji drone pretty much you can fly it through your house around things but you're not going to do any of that cool fpv stuff however since it does come with the goggles it's closer to being in the fpv hobby and because the transmitter although it's not a true transmitter where the joystick falls to the bottom it does give you the different types of joystick covers so that you could be a pincher or a thumber which i think is pretty cool also just in case i didn't mention it with this kit since it is more advanced uh you can configure things with beta flight configurator at least i could with my old kit this one here as well it has a receiver in it that's an fr sky d8 receiver that means if you have any professional transmitter say you buy one you have this kit and then you go i'm gonna buy myself a professional transmitter you could as long as you get a four in one model or an fr sky transmitter and you just select d8 and it will bind to this drone and you can fly it so it's pretty
pretty cool that way. So I believe that's it to say on this kit. I think for the price at $119 US, I think it's a pretty good deal. You get quite a bit. It's going to bring you closer into the FPV hobby by not spending a lot of money. And these goggles you can use with any analog drone on the planet. Even that first drone that I showed you by MakerFire. And the drone, since it has an FR Sky D8 receiver, means that you can use it as you get into the FPV hobby and buy something professional. You could still go back and fly this little baby. So I'll put the links to this product below. Go check it out. So this brings me to my final recommendation for FPV drone kits for beginners. So this is a Betaflight Cetus. It's the full Cetus, not the Cetus Lite, it's the Cetus. As of today, it costs $159.99. It's not very expensive and you get quite a bit. So for a few more dollars than the previous kit, you get a carrying case with this. Let me tell you what else you get. You also get the transmitter inside. It's a full FPV transmitter, better gimbals. The joystick drops to the bottom, so you have mode two and mode one. You have to pick which one you want before you buy it. So that's the true FPV hobby, having that sort of joystick. That's really good to learn on a true FPV transmitter. You get the goggles. They're the same as the last kit. You get a drone, which is more upgraded than the last kit. However, it still has brush motors. And that drone, Runs on a 1S battery, same as the last kit, has the same output video power, so you only have the range of the football field. The last drone, the Cetus Lite, had two speeds. This one has three speeds. However, this one has three flight modes. Wow, that's what you want in the FPV hobby to have at least three flight modes. The flight modes on here are not true FPV drone flight modes. What Betaflight did is they said, you know, so many people are DJI drone pilots or Autel pilots, and they have so much difficulty trying to fly an FPV drone. What if we stick optical flow in this thing? So they did. There's a laser at the bottom plus an optical flow camera. So if you put it in flight mode one, it flies just like a DJI drone indoors. If it sees an object below it, the optical flow sees it, it will rise to go over it and carry on that way. It's very good. So if you have no skills, no hand-eye coordination, and all you can fly is DJI drones, you can fly this. Then they added another flight mode where it's like a sport mode. It still has a bit of optical flow, but you can move very, very fast. So that's cool for outdoors. I wouldn't do sport mode indoors. Then it has a manual mode. In the manual mode, it takes off a lot of the restrictions. So now your drone is flipping and flopping all over the place, and it's up to you to try to keep it still in the air, just like an FPV drone. What sets this apart from the two other drones I showed you is it brings you closer to the FPV hobby. Skill level, if you fly it with optical flow, is grandma, grandpa approved. You know, they can fly it. As soon as you go to manual mode, it takes a bit more skills. It's much more configurable than the other two drones. The transmitter, as I mentioned, the joystick drops to the bottom. So when you use it with a flight sim, you're using it the right way. So you're getting used to moving that joystick up and down, which is your throttle control and you will have a much better experience on learning how to fly a real FPV drone with a transmitter like that. This Cetus has been around for a while, the same as the Cetus Lite, and they sell really well. That's why they're still around because they don't cost very much and you get an awful lot. You get your toes wet and see if you really want to keep on going into the FPV hobby. Oh, and if I didn't mention it, the goggles in this kit you can use with any analog drone on the market. The transmitter on here, yes, you can bind it to other drones on the market because I believe it uses the D8 protocol as well, FR Sky, so you could use even a more professional one with this. So that's pretty much it. Those are my three recommendations for an FPV kit under $200 US. There are some others out there, but they're not very good. These are the only three I'd recommend, so you have a happy, fun experience. All the links to my reviews, each of those kits, if you have questions on them, go watch my full review and your question will be answered. I'm going to put links to my full review below. I'll also put direct links to where you can buy these products right now because a lot of people can't be bothered watching another review and they just want to get the product at the great price. And they are at the prices I just mentioned because I just checked them before I did this video. So the prices should still be good. Now, if you'd like me to do another video where I give you the best FPV kits, between $300 US and $200 US, I can do that. But just post comments below if you'd like me to do that. And maybe in the future, I'll make one of those videos. But for now, I say thanks for watching this one. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments on it, post them below. And I'll catch you in a future video with many more reviews. Until then, I say bye.